Next, we are going to calculate between the centrality for any given node that is going to identify how important a node is. The between the centrality of any node i can be calculated as the sum of shortest paths having i in them divided by the total number of shortest paths from all the nodes to all the other nodes. The condition is that the two nodes that we are using for calculating the shortest path are not the same node. And again, it can be used for both directed and undirected graph, where in case of directed graphs, we are only going to consider the shortest path using the directionality. So the shortest path between pair 2 and 3 is this one, and it does not contain 1. So it's going to be 0 divided by 1. Plus, the shortest path from 2 to 4 also does not contain 1. And same goes for the shortest path from 2 to 5 and from 2 to 6. Then the shortest path from 3 to all the 3 does not contain 1 and the shortest path from 4 to all the others does not contain 1 and same goes for 5 and 6. So the between the centrality of node 1 is going to be 0. Considering the graph to be undirected, the same way the between the centrality for the node 2 is also going to be 0 because it also does not fall into the shortest path of any two other nodes. Now these two nodes have very important position because they are linking these two pairs of nodes. So they are going to have considerably high between the centrality as compared to the other four nodes. So let's calculate the between the centrality for the node 3. We are going to have a total of 10 paths and 3 happens to be in the shortest path between 2 and 4, between 1 and 4, between 2 and 5, between 1 and 5, between 2 and 6, and between 1 and 6. So that makes it a total of 6 shortest paths. So out of the total 10, 3 happens to be in 6 of the shortest paths which gives it a much higher between the centrality value of 0 0.6. The same way, 4 is also going to have a between the centrality value of 0 0.6 and 5 and 6 will have the between the centrality value of 0. So this is how we can calculate the between the centrality value for any given nodes when the graph is undirected. However, if the graph is a directed one, then in order to do so, we'll have to consider the edges with the directions. So even in that case, the between the centrality of 1 is going to be 0 because if we have to get from any node to any other node, we do not need to pass through the node 1. For example, from 2 we can directly go to the node 3, from 2 we cannot go to any of these nodes, from 4 we can directly go to node 3 and 5 and 6, and from 5 we cannot go to any other node while from 6 we can directly go to node 5 or node 4. So that means we do not need to pass through the node 1 considering the graph to be a directed one and therefore its between the centrality is going to be 0.